Hello everyone, Bobby Gunner Who here, and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Blinks 2 Masters of Time and Space. In last episode, we took care of well, 4.5, no, just the first half of 4 as the Time Sweepers. We fought a giant Benito. I've, I've no idea how, I've no idea why we fought a giant Benito. I honestly don't get it. Nobody in this game gets it either. But let's, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's quick forget about that and look at our tank. So yes, you can customize your tank, and you can you can upgrade your tank as well. You can upgrade the engine, carries the head, all this stuff I don't understand. All these weird code names for these certain parts. That I'm not totally you know. You can even color. You can even make your tank do different colors. That's kind of interesting. And heck, you can take part. You can take like the tread of the and the turrets of your tank, so it looks like a piece of metal. It's kind of fun, actually. And as you can see with the bars there, there is a limit limit to your tanks. If you have too many powerful tanks, supposedly it's it's too much weight, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. I can see that I need the tanks all green <laughs> there, as an explanation. But again, you only use the tank in it one it one point of the whole game, and that's the world three time lost the boss. After that, you don't use tank whatsoever, unless you play versus mode often, which I doubt at this point in time. But who knows? Maybe you play Blinks two with friends. I have no idea. So now let's just run around and talk to the Tom Toms in the Tom Tom headquarters. Tom Tom, Tom Tom. Mm hmm. And of course, yeah, we know. It was less than unless we do a tutorial. But I think at this point, the toy should be kind of pointless since we, at this point, should know everything already. And if he says, new goodies you can buy now, shop, la 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 la. All your usual stuff when you complete it, no really. So let's do that. Let's just go inside the shop and see what what's new inside. Okay, let's see what new weapons we got. Um, we can we can buy our own flamethrower now. But again, I find that useless. Um, yeah, special tools you can use before. Um, the truffles can. Uh, whatever. And again, I'm not sure if I never there's a silence uh, silence your weapon firing. And yes. Cleaning outfits and accessories you can apply to your character, health items, health extenders, miracle snoozies, and yeah, I'll buy a bunch of them just because I like more health. There's a pause screen to include more, which is absolutely nothing. And I think there was spare ammo there too, so yeah, you can increase your ammo count as well. If you have enough money, do buy them. For your effective weapons, but but again, I don't buy sp any spare arrow for ammo for uh, for this game. I'm fine. How my weapons are, but as you can see, I maxed out my health for my Tom Tom game number. Yes, I'm serious. I'm now at max health. Um, let me just count. Oh, never mind. Okay. Never mind. Can't, won't count yet. So since I got loads of miracle studies that I don't need anymore, I guess I can use them to increase my teammates health, but they don't do do anything. I will start with slingshots because they are useless now. And yeah. Let's see, we can unlock Yes, we can unlock now we've got new items and as usual we got a new pick mode to get, so let's go ahead and grab that. Decoy puzzle, part one. I mean, it's more than one puzzle. Oh. In this certain challenge, you gotta, you only, you gotta lead the time sweepers to your Tantong -tong gate, the vortex, that giant end there. Now, what, now what you gotta do is that is you move 
you. Um, what's the word for it? Um, you lead, you lead the time sweepers to. You lead the gas. Use the you use decoys to lure the gas sweepers into the, the giant M. The faster you do it, the better the, your rank. I see here, I'm doing quite poorly. Because I think the problem is the decoys don't really go in straight lines. It always goes slightly to the left or slightly to the right. And here I just go in first person. I'll see if it gets any better, but I think this is that's good. But hey, it seems to be working now. It seems to be going straight line. The tire sweeper is following him. The decoy goes over the M, and the gas sweeper gets sucked by the M. And that's a B rank, and that's our twenty-first pig medal. So, yeah, it's the usual. We got ourselves another pig medal. It's a red one, nonetheless. But hey. Now this episode is gonna be quite a short one, probably because at the next level we're gonna get into a head, but But for now let's do our fourth tutorial. And it's how to handle a bazooka. This tutorial is completely pointless because we already use a bazooka in World 2. And actually I use a bazooka against Blinks' team because it was just more effective than my ornate guns. I can possibly even find this in the, in the first world. World, a Tonton game. I need the first person I'll just be a bit more accurate. And sure enough, I was. And that's it. That was incredibly pointless because we already know how to use Bazooka in the first place. It's not, and it's also not that hard to use one in the first place. So I found that tutorial would be completely utterly pointless. But once you do that tutorial, you'll be able to buy your own bazooka and buy one well I can't buy one now but do buy one cause it is a lot more effective than a Tonsic Nene and a Pick 38 it kills time sweepers instantly if not two hits yeah two, two hits yeah so I sold off someone last week just to give myself a bazooka cause they are effective I find I find the hand is good through main launcher, but I don't think the grenades will be that effective because I'd probably take a while to explode. And there's a future one called the Sam 440 or something like that. But I find that I find that inferior to the Bazooka 06 because once you shoot that they leave leaves off an explosion leaving you to, to damage. Whilst well, bazooka, bazooka doesn't let you take that amount of damage, so So anyways, I'm just going to go in the locker room and change up my weapons. Get rid of my toxic grenade for Basso 06. I just call it Bazooka because it's much more easier to say. I mean it is. And I'll just go, go back into the shop to sell off my toxic grenade for more cash and yada yada yada. I know, I know I could speed this bit up but... I honestly not bothered and hey, the next will be your link because this part is not long, long to begin with. I think this video is be it's like 15 and 30 minutes long or something like that. So we like so I'm sorry that don't get the usual long episode, but hopefully next next episode will be a bit longer. But anyways. Now we're finally done with all we can do in the world, it's finally time to start World 4. In, in which I personally think is the hardest level in the entire game. I'm dead serious. Harder than World 5. But why is it so hard? Well, let's find out. I see we start in Sky World. Everything looks so bright. Fire, much brighter than the last world. And. We gotta get to a certain base for something, I don't know. And hey look, there's the Tom Tom bank from the last game. In the first game, we saw Blinks 1, the Tom Toms 
why what we did on the bikes. All you have to do we leave those bikes. All you have to can't we try wowing that bike. I mean I don't think it worked badly in the game, so I can't understand. But hey, it's nice to see a nostalgic item from the first game. Even it and as you can see here, I can't turn this around for some reason. Odd. But anyway, let's grab some cash. And a uh, hyper cloak because that's important. And this is right to the other place and What the heck? I just spun around back spun around gone backwards. Wind is pushed me back. Um I don't think it will push you back, I think it will push you to the left into skies and lead you fall into your death. But okay. So yeah, you can get on the bike but you can't really drive around, which sucks, but okay. Oh great, gas sweepers. And for some reason they have robotic canines around them. And I'll show there any Real dogs in the Blinks universe. I mean, you, you think the Tonto gangs would be, be dogs themselves, but no, they're pigs. And apparently, uh, the cats have robotic dogs. I have no idea why, I don't honestly get it. But hey, the Gas Peepers are slightly blue for some reason. Well, we never in, in the Tice Peepers portion of World 4 where they were also blue. Yeah, we need. Time grenades in order to get rid of those bluish boys around them so we can actually beat them. Which I failed to be, to be all stealthy, so I just speed this up so I can get somewhere. And there's probably no reason why this video is so short because I speed up this portion so much. Um, I think you know, it's short, so I don't know. <coughs> God damn it. And I think my foot is kind of dry actually. I don't know. I see I, I die quite a lot because I don't want to get nosed by them. Which I fail a lot. I mean, I mean why do I... How can I have time grenades this, to fight against them? That's kind of unfair. I have to be all stealthy. Which is... I know, but... You, you didn't have to be still in World 2 and 3, so why now? And... Yeah, I showed the map just because. And feel this entrance area inside a second low of the island. Beach seven oh catch one uh, okay, I didn't get that at all. So I think I press the blue switch and release it to here. And ooh, meat, me want. Bless the switchy and oh, there was the two doors. The other door leads you back to the start. Well, this one will just lead you to the level. So, and yeah, we know how to go on cogwheels. And this switch activates that cogwheel. That cogwheel actually leads to a pig metal. But, but, spoiler alert. World four is the only. <coughs> well, round four. Round four is the only is the only world in the in the entire game where the Tonton gang has medals that you need two players for. So yeah, even though the Tonton gang has four medals that you can get with just one player, there are two, like a time sweepers. The Tonton Gang still has pig mails you need to get with two players. <coughs> and that's just plain white sucks. So I know now we got cannons which can lock on to us, which is kinda of annoying. They also fire holy missiles, which doesn't help towards the slider, so. Boom goes the. Never mind. So now let's wire this thing. And 
Yes, I know. Are we done this in a time speed portion? Is it any different here? So, once again, I'll break physics and stand on this bar because that's possible. But I fall because he keeps he keeps doing every time he keeps doing when when at bar for some reason. Probably because they're doing momentum and stuff. But I think this this is where I stop and I saw this fierce episode so so short, but hopefully I'll make it out in the next episode. So this is what we're gonna do. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in episode seventeen. See you later guys.